We live in a society where it's enough that Valve's developers drop a stinky fart and the community will say that smells like an operation. But something else that smells rather good and helps pay? Xplay. Want to find a community server? Xplay's got everything. The star of the show has to be the bots mode, here you can select difficulty and it lets you goof around in a DM session, which kinda feels like the real thing but with slight improvements. Site also offers challenges and rewards to spice things up, you can collect enough rewards and trade them in for skins. And just like any other community server out there except for my own, there's a premium feature where Xplay is no different and it comes in at $7.99 a month or $4.99 if you go for the yearly subscription. Keep in mind you don't need them to get the skins, but you can click my link down below to visit Xplay after finishing my video so let's get back to it now. We're at a critical point of speculation right now in CSGO, things are getting a little wet and wild. For example, not too long ago, Valve's trademarks, yes, trademarks, so not even the game files, were updated to simply add more info on the description itself and people were going crazy over that. But the latest official change that Valve made and the hype surrounding it is even crazier. CSGO replaced their banner on Twitter. Yeah, that's it. And that's all it took for some to believe there's some kind of hidden gem beneath the surface of a Twitter banner. But a lot of it is also jokes, so just keep that in mind. I stole the banner because I thought it looked cool. It didn't stop some friends on Steam to ask me if the new banner means anything. This whole Twitter banner thing is just goofy. I'm also here to say that I've covered pretty much all big updates for this game since it released, and I will say to some people's defense, they did change the banners before revealing Danger Zone back in 2018. This, however, does not feel even close to that. I think some guy over at Valve just changed it because it was old. At best, it could also be for legal reasons to focus on the logo itself, but it's a stretch thinking has anything to do with an update. One of the things getting hyped around is a rebrand, a name change by removing Global Offensive and simply calling the game Counter-Strike. Oof, I've heard this one so many times. I mean, okay, it's pretty obvious that Valve could reap a ton of benefits from this, it certainly would make it catchier and more accessible, but this is something the community has worked up and it's just out of control. And what would happen to poor little 1.6 who already claimed Counter-Strike for itself? The rebrand idea started trending a year ago from this random guy's tweet, since then, nothing's happened. It would shock me if they in fact did change the name. But what's more realistic and something we already see today is if they simply refer to the game as just Counter-Strike. It works in their marketing today. These types of tweets come and go, and their sources are always the same. Strings related to Source 2, which by the way has been going on for years. <laughs> However, since I sound like a grumpy old dad, I want to bring some hope into the table. Nvidia recently pulled game profiles from the cloud, and with that, a Source 2 config. Now let me tell you, this gives even a boomer like me a bit of excitement. You can actually see it for yourself if you use GeForce Experience by simply opening this file in Notepad if it's been recently updated. I've talked about this before, but if CSGO gets the Source 2 treatment anytime soon, you'll probably get the option to run the game with Source 2 as an alternative option. With the regular version of CSGO being right above, it seems even more plausible. Then again, Valve could stay silent for yet another year. So with that said, keep your sanity in check, drink water, touch grass if you have that, and do your best to maintain your levels of hopium. Peace.